Transformer Demonstration That's a transformer. That's the primary side of the transformer. That's the input side. That's the secondary side of the transformer, the output. It's the input emitter, a redundant input emitter, input voltmeter, output voltmeter, output ammeter, and a load. It's a 40 watt incandescent lamp. Apply power to the input side of the transformer and measure all the values. Three transformers there for a three-phase system we are using only one transformer. Input voltage is 120.9 volts. Input current is 0.312 amps. Output voltage is 118.3 volts. Output current is 0.295 amps. That's a 37.7 watt input power and a 34.9 watt output power for a transformer power efficiency of 93%. The two series ammeters give confidence in the current measurement. A power meter can also measure voltage, current, and power. This power meter has an inductive probe that's a clamp around a single conductor that senses the magnetic field for current measurement. That's the power meter. There's the power meter. The inductive clamp around a single conductor the voltage probes are just like for a voltmeter. The inductive clamp requires a coaxial cable. It's measuring 120.9 volts, 0.28 amps, 60 hertz, plots the voltage for four cycles. It has a crest factor of 1.4. Calculated power from the power meter is 34 watts. That's 9.8% error compared to the 37.7 watts measured with different meters. This is the power meter on the output side. Output is a sine wave with a crest factor of 1.3. The output voltage and current are about the same as the input because the transformer has a 1 to 1 turns ratio. The output circuit is isolated from the input circuit, which is one function of a transformer. A web search on electrical transformer images shows lots of transformers. Wikipedia explains how transformers work. 